In this video, we're going to compare Agreeable Gray and Repose Gray, two incredibly popular paint colors by Sherwin-Williams that are used by many, many people. If you're trying to decide between these two or you just want some more detailed information on them, I would be happy to help you out. We're looking at some of the similarities, the differences, and ultimately my preference between Repose Gray and Agreeable Gray. Welcome to Color Clash, where we take two colors and have them compete for colorful superiority. It's not easy picking the better of two colors because they're colors. <laughs> they're really hard to compare. And in many cases, it's ultimately an impossible task, but I'll be sure to do my very best. One color may look better than the other in one room, but it could be the exact opposite situation in another room. Whenever you're comparing colors, especially two that are so similar, that would be a perfect opportunity to utilize testing boards like Mighty Boards. You would have one color on one Mighty Board and the other on another Mighty Board, and that will not only give you big color swatches in a space, but you can also have those competing colors in the same space to see which one works Works better. If you don't know about Mighty Boards, I'll definitely leave their information in the description down below for you to check out. Agreeable Gray and Repose Gray are heavily compared because they do have some striking similarities. So let's start with those first. They're both colors by the paint company Sherwin-Williams. So that's an obvious one. And even though that's the case, you could technically have these colors matched into any paint company's products that you prefer. But if you can, you'll more than likely have a better result color-wise if you just use Sherwin-Williams paint for these colors specifically. We also noticed that both colors have gray in the name, and this should tell you something about what they look like. But if you know anything about paint colors, gray can mean a ton of different things. You can have cooler grays, warmer grays, greeny grays, bluey grays. I even tried to make up subcategories like gruge just to make things a bit easier for myself. Gruge is a bit of a rougey gray or a red gray. We did a video on it, which I can leave in the cards up top if you're curious. So as for similarities, Repose Gray and Agreeable Gray do fit under the very broad umbrella that is gray. Another pretty clear similarity they have is how dark they are or how light they are, depending on how you put it. What's great about paint colors is you can actually find a very specific number on any paint company's website. So in this case, you go on the Sherwin-Williams website, you click on the details tab, and you'll see something called the LRV, which stands for light reflectance value. And you can do this with any color on the site. The light reflectance value is just a number between zero to 100, reflecting a percentage of how much light a certain color reflects. That is visible light. And why this information is useful is because a color that reflects more light will appear lighter to you. So the purest of pure whites might be close or approaching 100, and the deepest, blackest of blacks will be closer to zero. Agreeable Gray and Repose Gray hover around the 60 mark, which makes them lighter mid-tone colors. This also speaks to their popularity because colors around that 60 light reflectance value tend to be used more often than dark colors, especially on things like walls on the inside of your home. And this is because they tend to feel a little more light and airy than some of their darker counterparts. There has been a bit of a resurgence of lighter colors becoming more popular, especially for those people that like a more understated minimalist look. But the only issue with going with a lighter color, especially one that's like 80 plus LRV, is its undertones won't be as visually apparent, especially if there's a lot of light surrounding it to wash the color out. Colors like Repose Gray and Agreeable Gray sit in that little sweet spot, that sort of Goldilocks spot where it's not too dark or not too light in most cases. I would even use these colors in identical situations. They're great in bedrooms, you can use them in bathrooms. They're even suitable for the main arteries of your home, like your hallways or those more open living and dining rooms. You could really make a case for any room in your home for either of these colors and no one would bat an eye. Some of the reasons I could see people not using these colors in certain rooms is if they maybe wanted to, I don't know, change things up and pick something a little more dynamic or saturated, like some brighter colors or deeper based 
topes or navies or forest creens, anything that you might deem as an accent. There are also certain situations where you have a room that maybe gets little to no light and could perhaps benefit with a color around a 70 or even an 80 LRV just to keep things feeling as light as possible. Now, even though these two colors are super similar, they both exist for a reason. They're not totally redundant. They're not identical, and one could very well be better than the other for whatever project you're doing. So even though they're both classified as gray, you could argue that they fit into the grayish category, which is a combination of gray and beige. Repose and Agreeable Gray, they both offer slightly different ratios of one and the other. To me, Agreeable Gray almost appears a touch closer to taupe, which is a combination of gray and brown while Repose Gray is a little more gray with just a touch of beige, almost giving it a hint of a green undertone in certain cases. Objectively, on their own, in a neutral environment, they do tend to have a gray aesthetic. But just keep in mind that both can have a tendency to show a tiny bit of green depending on the surrounding elements in the space. For example, if you have a lot of reds or purples or like a beautiful natural brick wall or something on the inside, you might see some of that green pop up a bit more in almost a complementary fashion. Or if you're a fan of really cool bluish lighting with a high Kelvin value similar to daylight, that could also have an impact. So the first big difference is repose gray is just a bit more gray, or at least in the traditional cool gray sense. It has a bit less of that red-brown undertone found in agreeable gray, and that's enough to split the difference. Back on the subject of light reflectance value, or how dark each color is compared to one another, they're extremely similar, but technically not identical. Agreeable gray is just a tad lighter with a 60 LRV compared to Repose Gray's 58 LRV. So if you love both colors, but just wanted something to feel a tiny bit more airy and open, then that would be agreeable gray, but it's a close one. It's only a two point difference. What about my opinion on these two colors? Well, I think in certain cases, each one can really be a phenomenal choice for both inside and outside your home. I do find agreeable gray to just be a bit more agreeable. There, I said it. Especially if you do incorporate more brown tones in the form of wood, for example. If you have a lot of wood, the brownness in Agreeable Gray will just work a little bit easier, while Repose Gray will just sort of complement a little bit more. You could also say that Repose Gray would maybe seem to fit seamlessly with the cooler color schemes, or people that are fans of green or metallics, but really it just depends on your overall design plan. Maybe you do want a little bit of a back and forth, or you want something that's a little more adjacent or even monochromatic in your color scheme. I think in most cases though, if you're torn between the two, it really is kind of a 1A, 1B type of scenario. Testing them out is going to give you the confidence you need to really solidify your choice one way or another. So it's just a step that you sometimes can't skip. Another way testing helps you out is by showing how much light actually affects colors, including these two. And we talked about that in a video right over here. 